Our first C++ example will be a simple hello world program. We'll have a slight change with what we did with, with C. So the first change from, from C that we have in C++ is instead of including standard io.h, you're going to include io stream to get input and output. And we'll talk more about that particular header file later. There are some cases where you wouldn't want to use io stream, but for now that'll, that'll serve our purposes. The main method declaration is exactly the same as it in C. Or to do output, you'll say std colon colon c out. The c out is the command we're going to use. The double colon here is what's called the scope resolution operator. And this says that the uh, c out function is in the standard namespace. There's a way around that uh, to avoid having to put that in, uh, but it's always good to know uh, what you're doing. And so for now, we'll leave that in there. This is the stream redirection operator. And what that does is it says everything that follows this is going to get put into the C out stream. And then we type hello world. And for a new line, we could just put a new line in the string itself. But there's a, another mechanism we can use in C++. And that's the end of line character. And this puts an end of line into the stream. And now that we're done, we say return zero. So to compile in C++, we're going to use G++. And the standard we're going to use is going to be C++11 um, or 14. Either one should work. And we still want all our warnings, and we want it to be pedantic. So the compile worked. And we can execute our command with a.out. And we get the hello world. One other feature of C++ that we didn't have in C is we do have a string type. So let's go ahead and define a string. And we can say that that's equal. Actually, we don't have to initialize it at first. We can just say message is equal to hello world. And instead of having the string literal here, we can just type the message. And that'll put the message into the output stream. So let's compile that. And ah, so here it doesn't know where a string is. And that's because we did not use the scope resolution operator here. So we'll add that. And then again, that says that it lets it know where to find the string. And we have hello world. 